She calls me from the cold Just when I was low Feeling short of stable And all that she intends And all she keeps inside Isn't on the label She says she's ashamed And can she take me for a while Can I be a friend We'll forget the past, maybe I'm not able, and I break at the band. This is the guitar lesson for Shimmer by Fuel from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is in standard E tuning. Make sure to subscribe and also download my top secret guitar tips up at the top there, the little exclamation point. That's my free gift to you. So the song starts off like this. So how we play that part is, it's kind of like a bar chord or a power chord, but we're actually leaving out the G string. We're not really playing the G string. The pad of my ring finger actually kind of rests on the G string to mute it, because the my ring finger is going to be playing on the D string. So this first chord shape I want to show you is our pointer finger is going to go on the third fret on the A string, ring finger is going to go on the fifth fret on the D string, once again, the G string is going to be muted, and then our pinky is going to go on the 5th fret on the B string. We only play the A through the B string. It should sound like that. Now this shape, we're going to be sliding it from the 3rd and the 5th fret up to the 5th and the 7th. And then we're going to slide it up another 2 frets to the 7th and the 9th. However, instead of playing with our pinky on that 9th fret on the B string, we're going to use our middle finger to play the 8th fret. So all we're doing is we're swapping a, uh, a note right there. Instead of our pinky on that 9th fret, it's going to be our middle finger on that 8th fret. So those are the three chords you got to know for the verse. The trick to the verse is all how you strum it. It's got a little bit of an elaborate strumming pattern, but if I break it down really slow and show you guys how to play it, you should have no problem getting it. So when we play it fast, it goes like this. over and over and over again. What I was doing there, I'll play it through very slow for you, was this. Even slower. Hopefully you can see what I was doing right there with me slowing down my strums. Now for the verse, there's a little bit of a change up in there. It's kind of hard to hear, but as he's playing the verse, two lines, he actually plays this. It's the same chord progression, however the rhythm changes up a little bit. It goes... And then it goes back into the regular way we play it. So how I played that little change up was I play it like this. And then we go back into the verse. Once again, really, really slow for you. Now the next part is kind of like a, uh, it's almost like a pre-chorus or a chorus. And that part goes like this, it goes. So what I was doing there was I was playing an E minor chord. And then A minor. 
And then I leave my pointer finger on the strings and I just take my middle finger and I hit that second fret on the A string. And then I go to a C add nine. And then a G. And then this is a D with an F sharp bass. So let's talk about some of those chords there. I know uh, some of them might be a little bit new to you. After the A minor, you can hear that little change. There's a note in there that he hits, and that's going to be this second fret on the A string. So he goes. Hear that? Right there. So that's the note that I was hitting right there, the second fret on the A string. Then we go to a C add nine, which is just like a, well, it's basically a C and then you add the ninth, but it's kind of like a G, but you just move your middle finger now to the uh, third fret on the A string and your pointer finger on the second fret on the D string. It's kind of like a compressed G. At least when I look at it, that's what it looks like. And then we go to a G, which we just move our fingers back to playing a G. So you just move them up a string. And then we're going to make a D and we're going to put our thumb on that second fret on the E string. So when we strum it out, the strumming pattern changes a little bit. I'm going to play through it very slowly so you can see it. Really slow. And the second time around, we finish on that C add nine. Back into the verse. There is a bridge to the song and all it is is just a rest on a D chord. It goes strum D and then you can go 5th fret on the E, 4th fret on the E, 5th fret on the B and then 2nd fret on the G. You can kind of mess around with that a little bit, but all he's doing in terms of chords is he's staying on that D chord. You can add in whatever little fills you want. You definitely hear those two notes right there. The fifth fret on the E and the fourth fret on the E. And then it goes back into the changeup, And that's kind of like the chorus in the final outro, which goes so far away. So it's played like this. And then it ends on the very first chord we played in the song, where we're on the third and the fifth fret. Remember pointer finger on the third fret A string, ring finger fifth fret D, and our pinky is going to be on that fifth fret B. And we go. Da, na, na, na. All right, guys. I hope you like this one. Please subscribe to my channel. Download my free gift to you. That's my top secret guitar tips up there at the top. It's the little exclamation point link. And um, yeah, I put those together for you to uh, rock, to live and play like a rock star. Seriously, if you incorporate these tips into your everyday life, you will take your guitar playing to a whole new level. So check them out. And I'll see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.